Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is actually kind of like a spur of the moment video. I had planned to do a different video, but I pushed that video back because I really wanted to get this one out. I asked you guys over on my Instagram if you want to see a full lip swatch video of the new Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polishes. I got them in the mail in this cute little bag and it has Revlon on it and all of them are inside of here. It ranges from like reds, purples, nudes, pinks, pretty much all the colors. <laughs> so I am going to be swatching them for you guys. I'm actually gonna lay them out in this box. This is the box that it came in just so I can do them in order of nude to bold so my lips don't get stained so quickly. <laughs> so this is all of the colors. It's a really good range of bold shades and nudes. So Revlon has these lip colors. This is actually one of my favorite nude lipsticks that I wear. It's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte matte lip colors so it's the matte version of these these are the high shine version i just kind of wanted to point that out that i absolutely love the formula of their matte versions of the ultra hd so i have high hopes for these okay starting with the first shade this one is in the shade act natural i'm not going to use any lip liners or anything just so you guys can see like the true color of them so this is the first color really <laughs> really light i would not wear this without wearing a lip pencil i did feel like i had to put on a lot of the lip color to get it like opaque and it's very goopy now because i've used so much let me take a little bit off but yes yeah, so just to make sure that you can't see my lip underneath i felt like i had to go back in like a lot of the product doesn't get on the applicator and it really is high shine i can see myself using these as toppers on top of their matte lipsticks i can see me putting this on and then layering the shine on top just in the center just to add a little bit of a gloss but the color isn't bad it's just i need to put on a lip liner and use less of the lip color in order for it to not look so intense and in your face but yeah so that's the first one this is actually the lightest one in the entire collection as far as the nude okay so the next shade is birthday suit which i'm still looking for my birthday dress my birthday is like less than a month away <laughs> And I still don't have an outfit. Anyway, that's beyond the point. Oh yeah, I like this. Revlon, their lip colors. <laughs> this even goes to like back in the day, I used to have, I say that like I'm so old, but back in my childhood, I used to have Revlon lip glosses. Like Revlon lip colors have always been good to me. I feel like I could, I might could get away with this without a lip liner. It isn't the worst lip color that I've ever used without a lip liner. I mean, it is bold, but I wouldn't say I feel like I look crazy. I don't feel like I look too crazy. I definitely would still put on a lip liner, but I wouldn't say it's like the end of the world if I didn't put on a lip liner. You know what I mean? It's a really nice mauve pink, but it's so like goopy. Like I'm the lip color. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting on enough. Like I don't think I'm putting on too much. It's just a thick formula. You could kind of see how you put that like it's goopy like that so you have to kind of dab it up i mean once you do that it's fine also as far as the stickiness i wouldn't say that it's that sticky more so goopy is the description i would do it i've had some sticky lip glosses like sticky sticky this one isn't bad it's not the worst that i've tried okay the next one is date night which did i show y'all the one that how it looks in the packaging this is the previous one <laughs> i don't know if i showed y'all this is the next one it is date night and i think this one is going to be pretty as well this is pretty much the last nude shade in the collection and it's a bit darker oh that looks like my lips but better like the same lip color so this is date night i think this is a pretty perfect <laughs> for the makeup i thought the previous one looks really good with the makeup but this one looks really good like i can wear this one by itself without a lip liner and it looks really nice i would say it's more like a muted purple nude <laughs> I just added so many colors. But it's really pretty. I really like it. It goes with my crease shade. So I might just put this one back on at the end of the swatch video. And so far, it doesn't seem like the type of formula that will stain. Because it seems like all of the lip color is in the formula of the lipstick. So all of it comes off when you wipe it off. But we'll see. Okay, the next one is like a really bright orangey peachy shade. This is in the shade Power Up. I knew I was going to be afraid of this. This one is real bold. OK, 
Okay, so this is it. I still, even though this one seems like the scariest one in the collection, I don't think that it's horrible. It's a nice bold lip color if you're into really bold like peachy orange lips. This one is goopy. I feel like I'm spitting the lip color off my lips. <laughs> oh, that sounds gross, but... <laughs> That was the best description I had. So yeah, this is Power Up. Okay, so the next one is a pink and it's called Fearless Who. It's like a really hot pink. This reminds me of some of the um, Laura Geller lipsticks I tried on in my Laura Geller lip swatch video a while ago. So this is Fearless Who. I actually like this shade too. This would go well with my outfit too. And I don't think it's too bold to where I can't wear it like just like this. This seems is pretty to just wear without having to apply a lip liner as well and it's really nice that it actually works with my skin tone like all of them pretty much have worked with my skin tone except the very first one okay this next one is rule the world and this is what it looks like it's a little bit brighter and more like a fuchsia true pink so this is the next shade it's just a little bit brighter than the previous one more like bold in your face but it's really nice for the summertime springtime when you're going out pool party and you don't plan on getting in the pool <laughs> so the next one is in the shade berry bliss this is like a great lip color again another shade that i can wear without a lip liner this is like a super easy lip color that i could just throw on because again no lip liner it's really nice what do you guys think tell me below which one is your favorite so far i don't know if i can pick i think i like the last nude one that i tried on and then all of the pinks so far the purple that i just tried on i mean they're really all nice <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next one is Violet Frenzy, and it's more of like a Barney purple. I feel like I've seen a lip color that's similar to this shade before. Nice, I like that. This is another one of those pool party lip colors. Yeah, me fixing my hair up for this color. <laughs> Okay, the next one is Game On, and this is what it looks like. Oh, this is super cool. This one is more like a bluish purple. I'm seeing more of those like blue tones in this color. This shade probably will really make your teeth look white, <laughs> like super white. Oh yeah, this one is cool. This is like the most different shade out of the collection. Really cool. Tell me what you guys think about it. I think it's interesting. I don't know where I would wear it, but it's very interesting. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Maybe to a party, like a rave kind of party that has like blue lights. That'll probably be cool. All right, now we're moving into the red. This one is She's on Fire. So let's see if we actually are on fire with this. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is the first red. It's more of like an orangey red. I do prefer more like matte red lips. It's a really nice red lipstick. I like it. I never know when to wear a glossy red over a matte red. I always choose matte red. <laughs> I feel like this is, I don't know, like Marilyn Monroe era, kind of when they did glossy reds. Okay, this next red is more of a candy apple red. This one is cherry on top or more like a cherry red <laughs> this one i think i will like more so i feel like a bold true red will look better in a gloss so let's see i think it's nice i still i thought i would like it better but it's the same amount it's like it's really not my cup of tea to have a glossy red but it's pretty maybe it'll grow on me <laughs> if i wear it out one day it might grow on me red is one of those colors you do not want on your teeth and i feel like the glossiness of it really just just makes it want to stick to your teeth. <laughs> Tell me what you guys like. Do you guys like glossy red lips or matte red lips? I'm more of a matte red lips gal. These are coming off really good. This one seems more like a fall lip color and it's the shade So Shady. Oh wow, that's rich. It's like a black cherry. Oh, that is nice. Can't wait till where it is this winter or fall, which to be honest is not even that far away. Like we literally have two months until fall rolls back around. That is pretty. Mm. <laughs> the eye look that I did in my previous video with the white lid shade and then like a thick winged liner and some bald lashes in this lip. I gotta remember that look for this fall. This is too cute. So definitely let me know what you guys think of all the colors. Tell me like your top five or your top three of the shades that I tried on in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna put back on date night, I think. Yeah, 
date night thank you guys so much for watching as always i really enjoyed doing this video lip swatch videos and foundation reviews those are kind of my favorite videos to do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys